He's like, all right. So, how do you feel about? Snacking on that shit. How do you? How do you feel about? <laughs> the way uh, people perceive the song. How do you feel about the uh, reception of the song? He's doing it right now. What? <laughs> My food's getting cold. It's called Bitch I'm a Star or I'm a Star? It's called. Or star. It's technically on SoundCloud, it's called I'm a Star. Okay. So. I'm a Star. Yeah, it used to be called. Used to be called Bitch I'm a Star because. And I uh, thought, you know, we should probably take the bitch out. Bitch, 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 bitch. Yeah. But it still, it sounds dope with it, but I think as a whole, like for the song, it's more respectable if we just took it out. Yeah, reach, reach a wider audience, which. Mm -hmm. The song's not necessarily has to be about reaching, you know, that hip hop oriented like mm -hmm. that like that expletive type shit, you know, no type need. stuff. And so, uh, you know, so we took the 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 bad word out, and so we think it makes it There's more. There's still like one, but it's very discreet. Fuck it, then I'm slamming the door. Yeah, it's it's and not. And you can't please everybody. You, know? you can't. Sometimes you gotta say what you gotta say. Mhm. Mm I just remember Chris sending this song originally to Callaway and we were all chilling at Parrotfish and he played it over the speakers and I was like, oh my gosh, I want to be a part of this song. I texted him and he was like, I mean, I wasn't really going to do much with it. It was kind of a joke. And I was like, nah, 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 we should definitely make something of it. And we did. I came in. This is when we were still living in the dorms on campus. And so we came through and just, I did a verse. And it was really, it was all really natural. It was all, I feel like it was meant to We happen. recorded it, like, I started recording on it at like 8 p.m. And then she came over at like 9 and finished the whole thing at like 10. Yeah, it like, was just... fast. It was yeah. like super dope. It and it's cool. Dope. It's cool because it's a topic that's definitely on our minds a lot. And like mm -hmm. going into the industry, you have to like be aware of certain things and recognize things in yourself and stuff. Yeah. And, you know, not really let people get you down. Determine that because we have like potential. We have potential and everyone has potential. You know, like if you want to be a star, you have to reach inside yourself and like ignore what everyone else has to say about it. Mm -hmm. You know, like there's going to be people that don't think that you're going to be able to do it. There's going to be people, there's going to be critics, but. If you know that you're capable of it, then just be the best, and then over time, you'll get recognized. Exactly. So, that's exactly what the, the idea of the song is. Can I have one more <laughs> little bite? Can I just... <clears throat> oh god. It's pretty good. I wouldn't have asked for another piece if it wasn't. Um. The second part of Gretchen's verse. Hell yeah, I agree. I really like that <laughs> And I really like when he's saying like, thinking me and my friends will never be something great, or like all that stuff, talking about, you know, all the expectations of other people and what they think and their assumptions. And then I also like, we build this industry from the ground, or empire. Empire from the <laughs> ground up. Yeah, <laughs> we, we build this empire from the ground and it really is up to us because it's within us, we just have to pull it out. No. Yeah. Sometimes the best songs are written when you just sit down and make yourself do it, not necessarily having a plan, but just like diving into it and yeah, seeing what just, you can do. It just comes out. What are you going for right now? Right now, I am working on a project that I was supposed to release end of May. Hopefully, it's still end of May. It's called Concrete Roses. And it's like eight or nine songs that I've been working on over the past year. And I'm really excited about that. I also have a music video coming. You should be on the lookout. It's gonna be awesome. It's gonna be super, super mm -hmm. sick. I'm excited. Um, I've got like eight or nine songs too. We hope you like this song, and yeah. you know, it can it be can go. It can be played in a in a couple of different atmospheres, in a lot of them actually. Yeah. You know, if you want to have a little sesh with your friends, you can listen to this song. If you want to kick it with your parents. You can listen to this song. You can yeah. listen to it when you're happy, when Study. you're sad. Studying. Yeah. It's one of those guys. You think so? Yeah. Studying song? Yeah. 
like played quietly. <laughs> Played quietly, because you background. might get a little caught caught on on the verse that G laid. Oh, it's a good verse. It's uh. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> I don't even know we what's happening. It. We got it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Alright, I'm we're good. Cool. Cool. We're in LA right now. I've never been here, bro. Pleasure meeting you guys. Hey, pleasure meeting you, man. Pleasure. Please, please place your dishes in the wash on your Please place it. I'm a star. I'm a star. I'm a star. Pondering my past ways, thinking about my last days Any more me and happiness gonna separate ways Thinking I'll never be good enough to receive what I pray for Well fuck it then I'm slamming the door up in the face Do we have a table to like bring out? Here, just put it on this He's gonna be eating that I'm gonna steal some bacon He's got the sriracha mm. Good shit. Mm. Mm. That's fucking good. Oh. 